Hi, my friends. Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome to my the last day of the year. Can you believe it? It's New Year's Eve. It's been a wonderful year. And I look forward to the new year coming. Because I know that the new year will bring us all new things. Tomorrow I'm going... Our whole family is getting together tomorrow for our New Year's Day anniversary, And so there'll be um, 17 of us all together down at my daughter Lori's house. And we're going to have Black Eyed Peas and, uh, and everything that goes with it for our New Year's Day meal. Black Eyed Peas are supposed to bring good luck to us for the coming year. And we have always had our Black Eyed Peas and, and we have always had good luck through every year. I have no complaints. So today what I want to do is I'm not sure. But these, I got these at the thrift shop. These wooden Butterfly beads, butterfly, they're not beads, butterfly, they're wood, wooden, they're wooden, and um, I'm going to see what I can do, it says wood flourishes, they're made by Kaiser, and um, on here it says $5.20, must have been the original price, but I got them for 50 cents. So I was very happy to get that. So that's like 12 and a half cents each. So I have, I have some other wooden things too, but I haven't used a whole lot of them because I just don't know how to dress them up. So I'm going to play with this one today with these. I'm going to see what I can do with them. Might be taking me half a life to, but first, the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can put some embossing powder on them and see how that goes. I think if they were embossed with embossing, with embossing powder, let me see what, what color, what's, Let's make this one pink, only because that's what I just picked up. This, um, I have a whole lot of embossing powder because a friend of mine's sister had gotten way into scrapbooking a couple of few years ago, and she had, like, all this stuff that, um that she had bought, and then she decided, nope, she didn't want to do any scrapbooking or anything like this. So she sold it all in a lot for $50. She was, you get everything I have for $50. And holy macaroni, that girl had some stuff. So, of course, I took it because I needed it. I did. I did need it. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to first just go ahead and see what happens if I do her in this pink. Okay, I see that this is melting, yes. This is stamping up the, yeah, stamping up embossing powder. And I don't know if they still sell it like this anymore. In fact, I think that they sell it in smaller, smaller packages, smaller jars. I think. I don't know for sure. I shouldn't say that because I'm, I'm just guessing. I'm always just guessing. Oh, yeah. See, that's melting on there really pretty. If I can lay it on the table and do it, it melts quicker because the heat stays around. Where if you hold it up, the heat kind of goes other places. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. 
Okay, now what I want to do, that's pink now, and it's pretty, but I want it more, so I'm going to pour this, oops, pour the rest of that pink in there. Boy, it's cold here this morning. I mean, now some of you people up there in Canada and stuff, they would, you know, and some of you in Michigan could grief. I've heard about all this horrible weather. Well, I guess it's not horrible. I guess it's natural for where you live. But um, now here it's like 55 degrees or something like that. And for us here in Florida, that's cold. Colder than a well digger's butt in the Klondike. That's for that's according to us. That's only our um okay. Now I'm gonna take I'm gonna put some more of this on here. Some more I'm putting it into the Versamark again. It's it's made that Versamark is made just for doing this embossing this way. So you put that in, in Versamark, Versamark on there. And this time I'm going to put this um, extra thick, extra thick um, embossing powder. This is called Ultra Thick Embossing Enamel by Melt Art. You can actually put this in those little Melt Art melting pots too and use it that way but i've never used that i don't have one of the melting pots and never bought one of them because i didn't know if i'd actually ever use one because this is the only way i've ever done um embossing is this way of this kind of embossing so see i put the clear over the pink i just want to see if i can get it more defined or um, just so it looks thicker and I can already see that it's looking shinier with this ultra thick I think I'm going to use I think I'm going to um, take this while it's hot like this I'm going to flip it back over inside there while it's still hot and I'm going to go again oh that's melting fast now okay now it's still hot I'm going to put it back in there again This will be pretty, I think, on the front of a, on the front of a, um, like a journal. If you're going to put it on, on a journal, I think that would be real pretty. Okay, now that's looking, I think I got enough on there. Let's see. You know what? Just for giggles, I'm putting it back in there. Oop, the whole thing's getting a little bit uh, hot. Okay, this will be my last coat. And since the wood is already hot, it's really melting quickly now with this heat tool. And it is coming up nice and shiny. I like shiny. Okay. I think that is looking good. I think that's looking good now. Okay, that's hot, 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 hot mo dunker. That's a hot mo dunker. So now I'll pour the rest of that back in here. I'm gonna be a little pink in with that. You know what? That's okay. That's okay, Mama. Let's put that that lid back on there. And whew. oh no, what did I do there? Well, let me fix that. Let me fix that. Let me fix that. Tweezer. Yep, 
Yeah, I might have put that on like a little too thick. I probably didn't really need that last coat on there. Because, see, it's got a little spot there. But that's okay with that spot. I'll figure out something. I'll figure out something to do with that little spot. Just scratch. I got all that on my desk. So I'll just scratch that off and put it down here in a trash can. Okay, now. Now. Darn, I wish I didn't. I wish I didn't go overboard with that. But I did, and it's okay. I'm not going to cry or nothing. i got three more to do, so I'll know for the next three. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make him his little body. Or I guess she's a her because she's pink. So these here beads, I got them at the thrift shop too. I like the size of these, and they're like, I love the colors. Oh, goodness sakes, I got the heartburn. Okay, hold on. Put these. Okay, now the way I put my beads on my, on my butterflies is I get a stick pin or a straight pin or a common pin, whatever you call these things. These ones, this is a long hat pin like one. I get these long ones like this. These ones I got in the floral department at Joann's. If you're ever looking for some of these long ones. But now when you're making the um, body for a butterfly, it's these beads make a perfect little body. And if you put them on a straight pin, then when you put them on the butterfly, um, the the holes in the butterfly will not show because they're going to be all hidden because you started off with the straight pin. So keep that in mind, the important information. You'll need that information in your future. Okay, now. So... Tonight is New Year's Eve, and, um, well, to the whole day is New Year's Eve. Okay, that's just enough beads on there. So, many of you might go, be going partying, I don't know. Um, we're not going to go partying. We are not. I may have, what we'll probably do is go build us a campfire out in the yard looking for oh we're gonna probably go out in the yard and because we got a fire pit out there and it's got about 18 chairs around it and so we a lot of times in the winter time and sometimes in the summer too when we're not even when we're not thinking straight we will build a campfire and just sit out there and roast marshmallows, make s'mores, whatever. And that's probably what we're going to do tonight. And the kids will probably come over because that's the way they do. Which I'm glad. Very glad. My one daughter is an Uber driver, so... She said she's probably going to work tonight because on New Year's Eve, there's going to be, people are going to need designated drivers. Okay, now see, I put the glue along there. Then I laid that pin on there with all of those beads. And I'll leave that pin in there until the, be the glue dries and um, until the glue dries and... Then I'll pull the pin out and just the beads will be there, but they'll be in a perfectly straight row and none of the holes in the beads will be showing. So keep that in mind because that's a really, really good idea. I don't know if I invented that idea. It was probably invented on the arc, but I figured that one out and I like the idea. So now I'm going to take 
oh, this, this one won't get to have a body on it because it's got a hole in the middle. There's a hole in the middle and it's all the way through. It says, ah, there's a hole in the donut too. Huh. That was a song we used to sing. We used to live in Esco, Minnesota. Esco. Esco. E-S-K-O, Minnesota. But there was a song we sang. Oh, I... Wait a minute. How'd that go? Oh, yeah. It said, Oh, I went down to Esco and I walked around the block and I walked right into the baker's shop. I took two donuts out of the grease. I handed the lady a five cent piece. She looked at the nickel. She looked up at me. She said, this here nickel is no good to me. There's a hole. I can't get up that high no more. Okay, let me start all over. Oh, oh, I, oh, I, never mind. Oh, uh, wait, what color do I want to make this one? I think I want her to be like this. What do they call this? Gold. Okay, they call it gold. Now, so I'm going to do the same thing here now on this here little flutter by. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oops. I almost knocked my, not looking where I'm putting things. I, um, I'm looking at the pink one and I'm thinking I might have to go like around the edge with something too. I have to wait till it's all dry and good and then I'll see if I want to do that. But I'm right now going to make this one gold. Golden butterfly. It'll be a golden flutter by. And sprinkle that gold embossing powder on there. Okay. Now, doesn't really look gold to me right now. It looks kind of orange. Looks kind of orange. I think I'll use these tweezers instead of my fingers. Okay, and now I'm going to heat it. Oh, oh, I went down to Westco and I walked around the block and I walked right into the baker shop. I took two donuts out of the grease and I handed the lady a five cent piece. She looked at the nickel and she looked up at me. She said, dear, this nickel is not good. To me, there's a hole in the middle and it's all the way through. Says I, there's a hole in the donut too. That was the song. That time I started low enough so I was able to sing the whole thing. Now I'm sure that that very song was, that's pretty, the gold. Oh, wait a minute. That part didn't get all done. I'm sure that song has been sang for a lot of different towns and cities around the, around the country. That's pretty. Okay, now I'll put that back in here. I like that gold on there. Now... Okay, I don't want that piece of paper. Now, put that lid back on there. Put these back in here. And now I'm going to go over it again. This time I'm not going to go overboard with the ultra thick. This time I'm going to be dainty. And although there's nothing dainty about this old woman. Nothing dainty. Nothing dainty here happening. Okay, let me make sure I got that all covered with the um, embossing fluid, with the embossing stuff. And then I will give it a little sprinkle. And then I will 
pull it out of there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'll try and be a little bit better on this one and not go overboard. Because the clear just kind of gives it a little bit more shine. And you can really layer it, layer it up. And to make that really thick, but um, you really got to be very gentle with it. And you really have to probably let it dry really good first. Really good. And let it cool completely. And I didn't let it cool completely. Okay, this is pretty. And that's all I'm going to put on there. That's pretty. Now it's all shiny. Shiny and beautiful. So now I'll put that one in here, this in here. Okay, put that lid back on there. And then, and then I'm going to, okay, then we need to have, oh, I need another pin. These here boxes, I got these boxes when school supplies were at, when school supplies were, they were selling school supplies at, before school started. And um, I think they were a dollar a piece, but I got them after school actually started. So they were clearing out all of their school stuff. And I think I got them 25 cents a piece is what they were. And I bought a bunch of them and I have used them because like in here, see, I put a little label on it like this says craft knives this one i don't think i have a label on i gotta put that one on there but they are so handy and then you just line them up, up on your cupboards and um on your shelves and and you know what i think i'm gonna go and then you can just see what you have i think i'm gonna use these dark beads on here they're like a I don't know, like a pewter color or something. Owie. Oh, my gosh. Hmm. Got this arthritic thing going on with my thumbs. Lately, it's just given me a, just a fit. I got me some of those. They, they make like this brace you can wear just for, and it's made just for arthritic thumbs. And it really works good, but then it makes it so hard to, it works good as far as holding your thumb still so it doesn't hurt. But then you can't really do things you want very well with the glove on, with the brace on. So I let the brace collect dust and I'll just suffer. I don't care. I do care. I don't, I shouldn't say I don't care. That's not a nice thing for a lady to say since I don't care. But, um. I just try not to move my thumb too far. Yeah, it works. I've got too many other things to complain about. You know, like not having enough craft supplies. <laughs> A lot of people would argue with me on that one. But I've learned how to do a few things without, like, squishing this glue. If I squish with my whole hand instead of using my thumb, then that works out better. And it doesn't give me a pain in the thumb. At least I have thumbs, see? So, okay, now I'm going to lay that on that one. I think that's going to look pretty. Got that right on straight. On that straight bit of glue the glue will dry clear so that's a plus and I'll put that one right there to dry oh my heat gun my glue gun's hot on my glue gun is on okay then let's see what color should I do this this one I'm puzzled with because I won't be able to make it a body I will, though. I'll, I'll do something different on that one. Now, this one, what color do I want him to be? I have a gold one and a pink one. How about this green? 
vintage vertigris. What the heck does that say? Now, vintage vertigris, V E R D I G R I S. Vintage vertigris, they call that green. I just call it green. I just call it green or greenish. Greenish kind of, kind of greenish. But that's what color this one's going to be. This is going to be a greenish butterfly. A greenish butterfly. Why did the old woman throw her butter out the window? You know the answer to that one? Because she wanted to see a butterfly. I learned that joke when I was like four years old. And I thought it was the greatest joke ever. Now it made sure everybody knew my joke. She wanted to see a butterfly. That's why. What do you call a cow with no legs? A cow with no legs is called ground beef. That's the story about that one. Jeffrey taught me that one. <laughs> I love it when Jeffrey tells me jokes. He'll tell me jokes and he'll um he'll be laughing so hard when he's trying to tell me the joke that he can't hardly get the joke out. And then I start laughing before I even hear the joke because he's so funny trying to get the joke out. But I remember when he told me that one. What do you call a cow with no legs? <laughs> ground beef oh that child what would we do without our grandchildren's i love mine boy i'm telling you <coughs> my one granddaughter that lives next door she is um well she's 16 but she'll be 17 on the 16th of February, she'll be 17. So she's almost 17. And her mother has just now let her start wearing some makeup. So I ordered her some makeup from, from Avon, from my Avon lady. And I gave it to her yesterday as like a pre-birthday or a late Christmas, if something, you know, Groundhog Day present or something. She was so excited. Because now she's got makeup. I don't know that she'll actually wear it. But she, her mother gave her permission that she could wear makeup. And that's only because... She actually had to wear makeup when she was in the play. Um, she was just in a play here at Christmas time, the Christmas Carol for their school, the chorus class in their school. And she actually, they had to wear makeup. And poor Kimberly, she goes, well, my mother doesn't allow me to wear makeup. I don't have any makeup. And so... I guess that's when her mama decided that, yeah, she can wear makeup. I said, wow, it's about time. Give that girl some slack. <laughs> oh, she's crazy. No, she's not crazy. Nobody's crazy. Now, that's pretty, that green, isn't it? It's like um, a variegated green. Okay, so I am going to put some of the clear over the top of that. I don't know if you heard a word I said when I had that glue gun. That's not a glue gun. That heat tool going because it's noisy. But, yeah. My poor Kimberly. Gosh, she's almost 17 years old. She'll be graduated from high school next year. She's in the, leap, in the 11th grade now. So she's only got one more year of school. And she's already looking into colleges. I want her to get one that's close by so she doesn't have to move. I want her to be close. Like very close. I don't want her to go far away. All right, let's see. 
And I know her mommy doesn't really want her to go away either, but that's her baby. Okay, now I'm melting the clear, the heavy, what do we call it? Ultra thick. Yeah, I think just the one coat of the colored and then the one coat of the clear is plenty on these wooden, wooden pretty things. Oh, that's pretty. I love that color because, gosh, it almost looks like it's like marbleized. Oops, I got to get that corner. Okay. That's pretty. Holy guacamole, that's pretty. Okay. My table's hot. Now, what kind of a body should he have? Let's see. We've got... These ones are kind of a pearl. No, those are more of a yellow. Oh, these are... Yeah, I think we're going to go with these. These are more of a... Like an off-white color. So I think those will be pretty on there. Okay. I'm glad I found these little pearls like this because I can use them a lot and for and for just this kind of a thing. Well, I can use them in my um well you I like a lot of beads on things anyway, like my bohemian stuff gets beads and although these aren't really the bohemian colors, but I just was happy to find them. I had fun at that thrift shop. Man, you know, some people, they like to go to K Jewelers or something and buy jewelry and they get all excited about their fancy jewelry that they spend thousands of dollars on. Not this old girl. Not this old girl. I would rather be in the thrift shop. Put me in the thrift shop. I'm going to buy m myself a new ring or two because I don't know if you all noticed before that I had my wedding band and my engagement ring on and they were getting a little bit too tight because I was getting a little bit too fluffy because of the donuts. It wasn't my fault. It was the donuts fault. And, oh, that one's got too much. We don't need that many on there. So... And then on top of having naturally fluffy fingers, then I swell too because of some, because of old age, you know, 68 years old, just things start going south, things start getting rusty, things don't work like they should. So it's just natural. But my fingers would swell, my hands would swell. And then the ring would get really, really tight. So my husband got the, um, I think they're still right here. He got the snippers and he cut them off. And so then I was looking to see if they had any rings. I went online and I was looking to see if they had any rings that wouldn't turn green or rust or whatever. Seems as though they make these stainless steel rings that are that don't turn color on your fingers. And them suckers are cheap. They're, I can get me a whole wedding set for like 20 bucks. Or less. 20 bucks or less. And they're beautiful. And so, that's what the road I'm going to go. Because I do not want to be without my wedding rings. But see... I have to wear size 12. I think the ones I had on were a size 10 already, but I need a size 12. Not many, but you can't just go to a jewelry store and buy a size 12 ring. They don't make them unless you buy a man's ring. Then maybe they have 12. So look at that. That's green. And it's, see, when I pull that pin out after they're dry, that is going to be beautiful. I got one more to do.
Now, one more here to do. One more. And what color should I do this one? Let me see. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree. That's another song, but I don't know all that much. My grandfather's clock. Okay, now this, I'm going to use blue. Since I have a pink one, I need to have blue. Now, see, the gold one looks good with the brown. Well, you know, the pink one doesn't look bad either with the brown edge. I like them. I do like them. So I'm going to do this one blue. Blue. Blue on blue. Heartache on heartache. Blue on blue. Now that we are through. I don't know all the song words to that song. Blue on blue. Heartache on heartache. And I can't go on. Something, something, da 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 dum, da dum, da 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 dum. Yeah. You know, so many times one word will, one word will just throw me into a tizzy, and then I start singing a song about that one word. Oh, now I dropped the lid. Can you believe I dropped the lid? So now I gotta bend. I gotta bend over. It's hard bending when you're old and fluffy. Okay. Okay. Oopsie daisies. Okay. Hmm. Oh my goodness. 10 12. It's 12 minutes after 10. My husband's still in sleep. He lays up in that bed reading half the night and then he sleeps late. Keeps hitting the snooze alarm on the. He sets his alarm, but then he keeps hitting. He'll hit that snooze alarm for like an hour or two. My grandfather's clock was too large for the shelf, so it stood ninety years on the floor. It was taller by half. Than the old man himself, yet it may weigh not a penny's weight more. It was bought on the morn of the day that he was born. It was always his treasure and pride, but it stopped short. Never to go again when the old man died ninety years with the slumbering tick tock tick tock its life seconds numbering tick tock tick tock it stopped short and never to go again when the old man died that's an old song. That one was come out back in olden days. Back in the olden days. My grandfather's clock. My mother used to sing it. My mother sang all the time. She was a singing girl. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put... Let me do it this way. I'm always afraid I'm going to push and break that wood and since it kind of warped a little but it's a butterfly so if it does warp a little it's not any big hairy deal yuppers oh man I got heartburn what did I eat I didn't eat anything okay now let's see I just love butterflies I think butterflies are just Beautiful. And moths, even. Butterflies and moths. I like them both. 
Okay, now that one is ready for the shining department. It's got to have shiny wings. Shiny wings. Okay. her beaded body because her body is open if you can see that see the body part is open on her so I can't put beads on there unless I was able to get them if I you know I wonder if I could do that I don't know I don't know you know what I'm just gonna let that be like that for now I might put I don't know I wonder if I don't know I like that it's really pretty okay so we have now we have the blue one, the green one, the pink one, and the gold one. Are they beautiful? I think they're very pretty. And so the glue has to dry on these three so I can pull the pin out and, and then the beads will stay on for the body. These are really pretty. Now, I don't know if I'll do any more to these. Because I got a couple things floating through my mind right now. Because I'm thinking if these were sitting, like if you had a doily on the background. And it's on the front of a, of a journal. I don't know. So anyhow, we're going to just let them dry. And I'm going to give that some thought because they are so pretty now. And they're definitely prettier than they were prettier just being wood. But now they are really even more pretty. This morning, I didn't film. These were some tags I made this morning. Actually, it was painty papers that I made while on Mixed Media Mashup on um, Stacy's channel. And so I was cutting them apart this morning and made some tags. So I did them this morning. And then I was making some pockets, removable pockets. This, see, because it's got the um it's got the paper clip on the back. Let me see something here. I'm just doing it. And then you can just slide them on a page like this. They just slide on a page. And so, and this one, oh, this one I didn't put a paper clip on, on this one. This one here is just a pocket I made with the woven. Oh, I did that one on a video yesterday. This one here has got a paper clip on the back. So it slides onto a page. I like these because... You can, on a journal, you can take a journal here, and then you can put this on here. But I put a, a pocket in there with a couple tags, even go in the little pocket. See there? And then I got little tags that can go inside the pocket. That's very beautiful, if you ask me. And this one, this one here is also 
it has a little pocket on the side of that tag. That's a bigger one. And, and it'll just go right into your journal without having to um, glue it down so you don't use up your journal page. Dirt. This one I made, I put two paper clips on the back. That's so you can, if you want it on this page, on this side, that'll be fine. Or if you want it on this side, on this page over here or this page over here. And so it's like appendextrous or whatever you call that word. And then this one here and this one here I made to go on the other way. But they're so pretty and you can just, they're just with the paper clips and you can paper clip them to your page. And that's the abidextrous. This one's not too pretty. I used a, this, this one's I made with a, um, with a losing, a losing, um, lotto ticket that'll go on a good junk journal you know i'm signing junk but that's why i was doing that this morning because now in case some of you don't know i'm on the 9th on the 9th of um january 2018 that's like in a week or so that's like a little over a week that's like in eight days, in nine days, and whatever, never mind. But anyway, I'm having my um, 2,000. Sometimes I have to look at you guys. Oh, there, you look better now. Um, I can see you. Wait a minute, I got to put my glasses so I can see better. Um, well, I tell you this story. Yes, I'm going to have. Ugh, I almost dropped my camera. Um, um, ah, oh, darn it, I forgot my teeth again. Um, yes, I'm going to have a live show, a live show right here, live stream show on, um, Tuesday, the 9th of January, three o'clock Eastern time. I'm going to have a prizes to be given away. There's going to be a lot of prizes, probably 10 prizes that I'm going to give away. And so some of them are going to be things like these handmade little dumaflages here. Who knows? I might even give you a butterfly. I'd, I wonder if I could put a paper clip on the back of a butterfly. Uh, we'll give that some thought. But I've got things. I've got things that I'm giving away. I'm giving away one of my art dolls. I'm giving away a needle book. I'm giving away... Oh, lace bundles. I'll have bundles of lace that I'm going to give away. And um, these here, OmniGrid. I got two of these. Do my hickey. Two of these do my hickeys rollers they were donated to me to give out i'm gonna give them oh and then these here two stamps these are going these are prizes there's going to be a drawing for them so it's going to be a lot of good stuff now if i weren't me i would go but i'm me i can't win my own prizes so yeah, I so that's what you need to put that down on your on your calendar and set your alarm clock so you don't miss it. But it's going to be live stream on the 9th. I can't hardly wait. It's going to be fun. It's my way of saying thank you to all of you awesome people who have sat around watching my videos through this whole year and leaving me awesome comments. So many people have sent me awesome happy mail. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the happy mail that I've got. And when I first started doing these video things, I did not expect people to send me things. Just out of the graciousness of their heart, I did not expect that. Did not, and I feel guilty because I can't send them big packages off myself. But 
but yeah, I do appreciate, and this is one way of I can give back is to have this this live show and give out some prizes. And I'm going to be finding quite a few little um, prizes that I could give out and have drawings. And so I look forward to the night. Okay, now, now just a minute here. Okay, let me get my book. Let me get my book. Wait a minute. Where's my book? Where did I put my book? My book. Oh, Elizabeth Marie. Gosh. You know, I am about the. Oh, here she is. Here she is. You know, I clean up and put things in places where they should be, and then I lose them. But I'm going to read out of my heart thoughts a treasury of Inner Wisdom by Louise Hay. Let's see. Let's see. Let us go. Let, let me just find. Okay. Here's a good one. I think. I don't know. I haven't read it yet. This one here is called All My Experiences Are Right For Me. Oh, hi, Lani. Are you awake? Yeah. Oh, good. Fear comes from not trusting the process of life to be there for you. The next time you are frightened, say, I trust the process of life to take care of me. We have been going through doors since the moment we were born. That was a big door and a big change. We came to this planet to experience life this particular time around. We chose our parents and we have been through many doors since then. We came equipped with everything within us that we need in order to live this life fully and richly. We have all the wisdom. We have all the knowledge. We have the abilities and the talents. We have the love and all the emotions we need. Life is here to support us and take care of us. And we need to know and trust that it is so. Doors are constantly closing and constantly opening. And if we stay centered in ourselves, then we are always safe no matter which doorway we pass through. Even when we pass through the last doorway on this planet, it is not the end. It is the beginning of another new adventure. It is all right to experience change. Today is a new day. We have many wonderful new experiences. We are loved. We are safe. And so it is. That's a good one for reading on the last day of the year. That was a good read for the last day of the year. Because it is. And tomorrow is a whole new year with a whole new beginning. Okay, thank you all so very much for hanging out with me during this show, during this beautiful show on this YouTube network. Yeah, whatever. Okay, and I just want to say that I, um, I ask God to be with you every step you take, every move you make, and I will see you on the next video. Love you and God bless.